so welcome back again my friends so this is a short video to how to download file from the database or in your server directory in last video i already shown how to upload file in your server directory and uh, and in this video i am going to show you how to download file from that server directory so this is a very short video and uh, i think in you don't take too much time but before starting this video i always request you to if you are new in my channel so please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification once i upload a new video and if you like this uh, if you think this video is helpful so must like this video and if you have any comment any question so comment below okay let's uh, get started so let's open our netbeans id so in last project we already did this uh, so okay let me run this project it will take quite time okay here uh, here i just uh, added a simple link and here uh, okay let's uh, okay here um, the here i uh, added a simple link uh, to download uh, give a download link and uh, here is the file name is thumb.jpg we already uh, uploaded this uh, file in uh, last time so here you can see in in this directory we already uploaded this thumb.jpg file in last video so in this video i will show you how to download this file so i make a simple link here and uh, 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 here is the servlet name and the file name i pass the parameter as a url so you can do that this is the file name this is the name uh, then using this name we will fetch the data in our servlet and uh, this is the original file name so i set it manually because i didn't work on database okay uh, maybe our uh, project has been run uh, okay you can check i create a simple link here so if i click on this link we got our file name here in the url so we will fetch that file name from the url in servlet and i already created uh, i already created a servlet a download uh, servlet that uh, name is here download servlet so you can do that so now now at first work is to our uh, face the data from the url so let me do a comment so i love it face um, the data from so, so it's a string type so string name name equal to request request and dot get parameter and we will pass the file name that we set in the your url place okay so we got our file name so after getting our file name we have to find out the directory in in last video i already shown how to uh, get the uh, directory so so path uh, let me say path path uh, equal to get servlet context get uh, servlet context context dot so get servlet context dot uh, get real path so this is your real path and here uh, we'll use separator class then this is our folder name files which folder i stored the file this is our folder name class uh, uh, file separator this is our file separator um, sorry file dot separator class and this is our name i mean the file name so we get our path here now we will create a file object so file we will store the file uh, in that path we get the file from that path so we will store it in a file variable um, so file so let's say dw file so dw file new file new file and pass the path okay. so we got our file in this uh, uh, file variable so now we'll uh, check a condition that uh, dw file dot uh, exist 
uh, first of all check that that file is available or not so if uh, available um, else um, else else will else will uh, print out out dot uh, print ln if there is no file available so uh, file not available file not uh, available so that means our uh, we don't have file in that directory and now now what will we do now we will check what kinds of file we are receiving from our uh, server oh sorry mm, i find out here so, so now uh, tell uh, now find out uh, what kinds of file my which type file we are getting from the mm, directory so res response dot sorry response dot um, set uh, response dot set content type so here we can say response dot set uh, content type so content type application sorry, application slash octet uh, o c octet hyphen hyphen stream so so this will uh, tell us what kinds of file we are getting uh, this is the ms type or this is uh, mp4 type or this is pdf type so that will tell us uh, which file type we are getting and uh, now now we need to get the length the what is the file size so response dot set length content content length so uh, content length we have a file in our file variable so we can access our file variable so download file download file dot length dot length so we got our length but we got here because we have to type cast it say, this is this is a integer type so type cut is type cast it to integer okay now um, now our browser we have to tell our browser to forcefully download this file so we can make a comment here um, force to download so for that we have to set header so um, we have to set header um, string header key string string header key header key equal to content 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 disposition disposition okay. this disposition Basically, um, I missed typing mistake. So please take care. Of it. Now we say string header value header value value header value string format. This is a string string dot uh, format some string dot format. Now we'll pass the this is a attachment at uh, attachment clone object file name file name equals slash quotation percentage s slash quotation in and uh, clone 
then file name so file name will um, ask our download file dot um, get name okay we got our file name okay, i just told you that i always <laughs> do typing mistake so we got our file name so we have to set this value to our header so we have to tell us tell our header the what kinds of um, we, so we have to tell our header to uh, response uh, response dot um, set header so we pass the ace key we pass the ace key and is well okay now we need a input stream so file input stream you can say file 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 input stream file input stream in equal to new file input stream then this is the download file tw file okay so we got our input stream so just okay you have to import the file input stream method okay create a method that means i typing mistake okay we got our file input now uh, we have to check how many bytes is available in this input uh, input stream so take a variable integer and now start a for loop or while loop at any think i think while loop is best so i equal to so we have to read that file input stream so how many uh, how many bytes is available and um, so we have to first uh, read the um, is not equal to minus one that means okay then um, in out dot sorry we have to out dot uh, right out dot right then in so without dot and i okay now we have to close in dot uh, close okay now we have to close output out dot on out dot close out dot close okay that's all save this file and uh, run it again okay we already set the value in our link so just uh, click on here okay you can boom that uh, our download file is octet stream file is okay save file and okay so you can see our uh, file has been downloaded so, okay this is our file click on it here so, um, i think something wrong here we are not getting the actual file size Sorry, file name. We are getting the spelling mistake here. Huh? File name. So just to refresh it again. File name download. So we can get that which is JPG file, thumb.jpg and uh, for okay. Just open it, download. Okay, this is the opening of file already. We already downloaded our file. Click on it here. Okay. Hmm okay the thumb looks like it doesn't support that format okay no no problem you can check uh, try it this uh, mp3 control c go to jsp page and just uh, change the file name control v s okay that's all okay down so we can get that we got a mp3 file Okay, set this. 
it's a download in okay thanks for watching this video i hopefully it will be helpful for you and if you get any problem or any error so don't forget to comment below and um, at the end i always request you to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get notification